I was just about to say, what did I do wrong this time, Officer Tricorder? Oh, there we go. It's a high red alert. Hey, everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. And today we're uh, joined with Tricorder. You can't really see him in the cockpit, but he's up there messing around with his lights on this this tiny little modest shit of his. Oh, there he is. He's hiding in the window. But today, we're going to head up there. I got some plans to start doing some building up there. Uh, regarding me not getting up there right away. Uh, different flight mechanics, uh, a few things I wasn't used to, like how mechanics actually work in this game, how to get up there, the atmosphere about the atmosphere kite on the thrusters I knew about. I wasn't aware about inventories, inventory mass actually affecting ship mass because I haven't been used to that for the last year and a half. At the same time, too, I'm kind of used to, like, actual more orbital mechanics where you're fighting through the atmosphere. And Back in my Kerbal days, it was a matter of getting through the atmosphere as fast as you could just so you could save fuel. So, and anyways, I got a whole bunch of supplies with me. We're going to go up there and we're going to get ourselves a nice little anchor set up on an asteroid. And I'm going to get a staging post set up. And I got plans on getting, like, a solar array and basic assembly and all that stuff set up. Uh, Tricorder has been able to find ice, so that's going to be good. Uh, I have uh, changed my key bindings on my thrusters here. Excuse me a second. All right, sorry about that. But yeah, anyways, I have been doing some work to the ship, and apparently uh, my vertical thrust isn't going to work because I'm going to overload it. I have uh, some basic supplies to get a, a s simple platform going for... The staging area. I want to get a basic assembler set up and some sort of power situation going so I can start producing stuff up there because it's cheaper to bring the raw resources up and produce it up there than it is to bring already made plates and computers and everything else. Uh, Tricorder did manage to bring us back some uh, platinum, so we do now have elite tools, and the welder is basically instant. Um, I've been messing around with different ideas on the ships. Uh, before the last episode and I did have some failures and uh, this was it was basically turned into a snowball effect and what was going on is I was getting to the point where I was having trouble actually getting to where I needed to to get to and what it was is I wasn't getting I thought I wasn't getting enough thrust and clearly I just wasn't doing it right so, this is actually working out better than I thought. I didn't know you was actually two engines. Um, again, thank you for the comments about throttling the engines and thrust limiting them and all that stuff. I'm not too worried about that. I do have more than enough fuel I know about coasting and whatnot. But anyways, uh, needless to say, it was, it was always at the point, the first time I made it up there, that 10 kilometers was the first time I've ever made it up there. Or successfully made it up there. And... I wanted to try to get a little more, so I started adding more engines and more, more engines need more fuel, so I was adding more batteries, and, and it started getting bigger and heavier, and it was at the point where I had two hydrogen generators and two H2O generators, sorry, hydrogen engines and two H2O2 generators to basically generate the power that I needed. Now, someone said turn the dampeners off. And I should be able to coast, and yes, I can. So that is good. I'll try to keep that in mind. Uh, I know it is a long journey, but I've already thought about attempting to build an elevator up here, and that's what we'll do eventually. Uh, but yeah, uh, and this is right here. I'll remember to try to get the clip in here of this. This is my final attempt, and it was there was no way it was getting over five five kilometers up. I took the two hydrogen engines off, and I put two two more H two O two generators on to give enough hydrogen for the engines themselves and nothing was working uh, the last time I had checked the weight before I put took the engines off and put the other two H2O2 generators on filled with ice which is my biggest problem oh I'm starting to fall back here what's going on all right well that's why I got the spare engines here hopefully I'm gonna make it, or maybe that's just because I'm going over mountains. I don't know. I wasn't paying, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was talking too much. Anyways, that's why they're there. 
That's also why I uh, try to keep going in the straight line. But yeah, needless to say, it was at that point, it was 100 tons. There was no way I was going to get it up there with the, the engines as I had, so I had to rethink it. And I was realizing that my battery power wasn't an issue because I was only going to be using them up to five kilometers. I'm already up here. And, you know, I got about half gravity. I should be close to be able to coast the rest of the way. But needless to say, I figured it out. I'm able to get up here and back and do all sorts of fun stuff. And needless to say, the fun stuff is going to happen very soon. But I'm going to do a quick cut here, and I'm going to bring you back when it's time to start getting some building going on. Okay, I think this is a spot. Not 100% sure. I do remember the cluster I went to is just outside of gravity. This is just outside of gravity, but so far this seems to be the only one I really noticed. I kind of went on an odd trajectory. I should be more above there, but don't really see anything. I know it was a cluster of like seven or eight asteroids, so it could be this one. It almost does. Tricorder has found ice. That's the big priority right now is getting hydrogen and oxygen production going. And this does look familiar because this one, this one rock looks uh, vaguely familiar. And I know there was a cluster of three, but I have no idea where they are. I know I'm low on hydrogen, but it doesn't matter. Basically, from here, it's a free return going home. Alright, I'll hit the brakes. Maybe I'll have to do a little bit of arrow braking. Or not. Arrow braking. I don't know what you call it. Alright, so what I'm going to do... I'm actually going to leave it where it is. I'm going to hop out. I want to do a little bit of prospecting with my old drill. Actually, I should turn that beaker on. Actually, it is on. Why could I not jetpack? Oh, that's why I can't jetpack. <laughs> that helps. Yes, I did. My beacon. I think I have it set to 10 kilometers. And we have ice right away. Perfect. So I think this is where I'm going to start building. I don't know if this is what Tricorder found, but uh, I also want to make sure I have best line of sight with the sun. Now, there's there. I think the ice lake was over there, so the sun comes up in this direction. Uh, where is it? It's over there. And I want to know this for where I placed my first block. Uh, hmm. Is that going to... Not going to make a difference. So i got to rotate this manually, which is going to be... Oh, going to be fun. Let's get an actual square block. So let me get a basic frame set up. I want to try to line up with the sun so I can get... Which way is it going? That comes in handy. Alright, give me a second. I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. I want to try to get a good line. I think this should be good. Be good enough. I just want to know this for solar panels. And I'm one, originally I was thinking about having sort of like a beam coming across solar panels coming up one side and the other but I might go with a flat uh, the only problem is I didn't bring any solar pa uh, power cells with me because they're large and they're heavy uh, actually I want to go up a little higher but anyways so it's gonna be like this I'm just gonna stick with uh, basic frames for now until I get some production going uh, let me get a setup laid out and I'll bring you back Okay, so I got a 9x9 nine nine area here, and I'm going 9x9 nine nine to keep it, keep it, try to keep it, keep it odds for like doorways and in this case, solar panels. And I love the magnetic boots. I was messing around with this. I can actually go right up to the edge and walk along and go to the other corner and walk along. It's kind of funny. I was actually thinking about bringing up, the, uh, bringing up materials to get a... Uh, gravity generator going, but this is pretty cool. This is what I like. Being able to actually see sp uh, the planet from up here. But uh, again, which way is the sun going? Uh, the sun going is going that way. 
this one if we saw the panels okay so I think I'm just gonna come off either side so let me go out either side and then uh, uh, just for now I got enough to make three solar panels for now just to get the basic assembler going and it's a matter of just getting stuff made for the regular assembler so give me two seconds one all right so this is what I basically got set up uh, I quickly put the solar panels on this side here because the Sun is still technically over there for now that's kind of eclipsed by the asteroid so I was going to try to get some stuff crafted for the assembler and I decided to park the ship here so I don't lose it uh, you never know with me I've lost so many ships in my time that's the last thing I need and I apologize for that that's my neighbors uh, but anyways uh, let's get out of here and see what I need for the assembler I made sure to bring more than enough what I actually need for it so I need 10 grids 10 displays uh, 10 grids 10 displays 20 motors so I'm going to get this stuff ready and I'll be right back. So I got everything queued up for uh, the regular assembler and a battery because I got no power right now. I'm actually waiting for the sun to come up. Uh, I think it's just going down so I might got like uh, 10 minutes or so but there's a big ice chunk right there. It's uh, H2O juice generator and hydrogen tank and oxygen tank are pri main priority right now and the reason why I'm making this stuff up here is because the large tubes are extremely large and extremely heavy and they're relatively cheap to make out of iron which is super light so that's what I'm doing up here but anyways I messed around with the other gravity boots and th these are things that are fun like basically well, you can't go up walls but I'm actually upside down right now the planet's there, the asteroid's there uh, the assembler's over here and it's just a matter you look like this and you can walk around so now the question is, just because this is the kind of stuff I do, let's see if we can actually walk around Energy it. Low. Yes, we can. Oop. Not too fast, though. Anyways, I'll bring you back when uh, I get enough juice to finish everything up. Oh, I'm going to turn my jetpack off. <laughs> I'll be right back. Now that's worth it. Didn't take too long. We're, like I said, I think I mentioned it before. We got like a half an hour day cycle on the server, and it is quite nice. It's actually a nice building up here. The only building I've ever done in space was Kerbal Space Program, and you know it's not exactly the realism factor there. But I don't know if the solar panels are going to get in the sun now because I moved them over there. But this thing should start producing pretty quick. Yeah, we're getting sun. And come on. Show me production. Let's see how they're doing. Uh, just barely. I was thinking about bringing a generator up here, but uh, apparently they're not as uh, as efficient as we thought they were. But anyways, uh, they should be printed up in a minute, so I'll bring you back. There we go. We are up and running. Uh, I've been collecting some ice. I got uh, a whole bunch of ice in here. Uh, it's actually for a bit to get us uh, enough oxygen and hydrogen to keep us going. I will not do a hydrogen engine. Uh, one of these rocks around here, I don't know if this is the same cluster I was at before. It sort of looks familiar, but it doesn't. So I'm not sure if it's that one over there or. Let's see, where is it? Over there. So. I'm sort of been lost. I think it might be that one even. But the fact of the matter is, I'm building here. We'll find some uranium. We'll get the proper mining vehicles set up. We'll talk to Tricorder about this already. So I do have plans. And if you've been with the channel for a while, you know that can only mean good things. But anyways, uh, let's get the, the assembler up and running. And I can't quite make the battery, but uh, let's actually do that right now. Let's get the battery right next to this. We'll copy that color and we'll sure we'll put it right in the back actually I haven't used any power cells yet so we'll do that and uh, hit the right hotkey do that and watch how fast this welder is nope if I had the, the stuff it builds armor blocks in seconds it's just unbelievable so we got power storage that's good I'm not crafting anything right now so that doesn't matter and now to get the big assembler the main man the big boy 
Uh, don't exactly know why I need this one in particular, but I have it. And I'm fine placing it the way I did, just because this is only temporary. Now, what was different about this one other than my gravity components? Uh, we can find out this way. A few things, apparently. Uh, can make girders. I'm sorry, I'm just quickly checking things out. It's like uh, higher tier stuff, like uh, uh, explosives for one. I'm going to say medical components, uh, reactor components, rust components, superconductors, and uh, higher tier stuff. But either way, we have that, so I could probably scrap that and get that done. So next, we need more power. So I'm going to get some more stuff up and running, and I'll bring you back. Okay, I am back. I have uh, fired up the brand new... Am I out of space already? Wow, those things are heavy. Uh... The assembly up and running, I got a bunch of stuff made, we're going to get some more solar panels up if I have inventory space for it, and usually I don't, so I'll put half of those away, got a few more plates even though I had plenty, and then we go out here, and I'm hoping to have enough to actually make 16 of these, um, I may actually get some on the bottoms just for the, the sake of it, because these ones aren't catching much, maybe we'll do it that way. Go ahead here and uh, switch them over this way. And I actually had these set to white. I changed them back to red. That's the wrong way. Uh, there we go. Alright, so we'll do that. And get four here. And four on the top. So we get better coverage there. And we'll go over here. And then do the same one. Two, three, four. And the reason is, is because it, it sits on the edge. If I have it on this edge here, it's not going to be until it's up to about there before it actually gets sunlight because of blocks blocking it. Uh, and it'll only get coverage when it's just coming up. So if I have it there, it catches it as it's coming up. If I have it on top, it has it as it's coming over. And that's my theory. Uh, but then what do I know? I just play video games. Now I can just remember which way I'm supposed to be rotating these blocks. Oh, there we go. Do that, that, and, and it reset on me, of course, making me look like an idiot because I'm re recording, and you get the idea, so let me do this and finish it on the other side, and I'll bring you back when it's done. Alright, with a new, with a new sun, sunrise, a new day, we have a new guest. Uh, tricorder has shown up. He has made ourselves a, a little bit of a mining vessel. It's going to help us get some production going on and see that how things work out. But uh, yeah, so I upgraded us. We got 16 solar panels now. We're generating more than enough power. But all that's really left to do is um, get the hydrogen production going. So let me take care of that and I'll be back. Okay, we are all set up here. Tricorder is just docking the mining ship here. He's got to get some fuel for it. He's going to take that thing down to the bottom there and get a whole bunch of ice and get this thing rocking and rolling so we got hydrogen to start running around and do other stuff. But so far this is what we have. This is the beginning. The beginning of it all. So yeah, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more work here. We might get one more episode up. Uh, we're also planning on doing a live stream tomorrow. Um, was 3, 3 p.m. okay for you, Tricorder? Yeah. All right, we're, so we're going to start at 12 p.m. Pacific, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, 8 p.m. GMT, and we'll probably go for three or four hours. Uh, we might do some more station work. Uh, we might do some more, some BC-style experimentation we haven't done in a while. But anyways, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later. <laughs>